The ball in this problem is launched from the ground at 40 meters per second. and an angle of 60 degrees above the horizontal. Part A asks us to find the horizontal and vertical components of the ball's initial velocity. Those are the components shown here, v naught x and v naught y, which we can calculate as v naught x equals the launch speed times cosine of the launch angle. Substitute values to find that it equals 20 meters per second. The initial y component of velocity is the launch speed times sine of the launch angle. That gives 34.6 meters per second. Part B asks how long it takes the ball to reach its highest point. That's this point right here. And we'll call that time t sub h, the time to reach the highest point. It occurs where vy equals zero. The ball is changing from moving up to moving down at that time. So instantaneously, it has no vertical component of velocity. We'll solve for that time using the time-dependent velocity equation. At the time t sub h, v sub y equals zero, the final y component of velocity. So we can solve for that time. It equals the initial y component of velocity divided by g, substitute values, and calculate to find that it equals 3.53 seconds. Part c asks us to find the height at the highest point. We'll call that height h and solve for it using the time independent kinematic equation. That's shown here. When the change in height equals h, the ball's at its highest point where v sub y equals zero. And we can solve for h then. It equals the square of the initial y component of velocity divided by 2g. When you calculate this, you find it equals 61.1 meters. Part D asks how far the ball lands from its launch point. That's this distance, delta x, which we can calculate using the horizontal displacement equation, v naught x times the time t that the ball spends in the air. That's the time to reach this point. I'll call it t sub g, time to reach the ground. We know that equals twice the time it takes the ball to get to its highest point. You calculate and find that's 2 times 3.53 seconds, which is 7.06 seconds. And now we can multiply v naught x by that time to see that the ball travels 141 meters sideways before reaching the ground. In part e, we're asked at the highest point to find the horizontal and vertical components of acceleration and velocity. So here's the path again with the highest point. At that location, we know that the ball is traveling fully sideways. So vx, the x component of velocity there, is v naught x. That never changes. It's constant. And vy is 0. The ball is moving neither up nor down at the highest point, only sideways. The components of acceleration are always the same for a projectile. ax is 0. There's no horizontal acceleration. In the y direction, ay is minus g, which is minus 9.80 meters per second squared.